Come on in. Setting up my light. I have this precious little humidifier that also gives me some light on this side of the, not a whole lot, maybe a, not a whole lot. Anyway, I've got my tea. Yeah, I'm ready and I've been working hard today. Yep. Yeah, we've been, Ben's taking inventory of things that he might need in his house. I'm going to add another tea bag to my mixture here because I make a big pot of tea and I don't want to put all my tea bags in here. I'm using one and a couple other different kinds because this is wise women's tea and it, it's a good way to keep yourself healthy. Because that was one of the things that the, see, somebody I heard today, I've been listening to everything, y'all. I'm telling you. Let me stir this. Stir my little teapot. And we're going to talk about next week. We're going to sneak peek. I know there's a lot of things. I listened to the vice president's press conference today at 1 o'clock, 1 1.30. It was really good. It was really good. And if you're not showing any symptoms of, of uh, there's going to be a website that's going to triage you to figure out what's going on. But I, just, I would just assume, <laughs> let's assume we all have it. And let's act as if we all have it. Robert and I were talking about this at dinner last night. If you just assume you have it, you're going to keep doing the things that need to be done to protect everybody around you. So just assume you have it and take care of yourself. Do the 11 commandments. Get plenty of sleep. That's one of the main things is getting plenty of sleep. So I'm going to pour my tea. This is the Holy Mother untying knots. I love this picture. It's one of my favorite portraits. And I have it on the wall behind me except the feather duster is covering up right now. So let's drink up, let's get some tea in my cup, and we're going to talk about next week. Yep. So I was looking this morning at videos about sneezing, and you know, it's hard to, it's, sneezes happen, you know, sneezes just happen. But they're powerful things. A sneeze can throw little bits of spit out at 75 miles an hour. Now, it's, it's not a Nolan Ryan, Ryan fastball, but it's pretty strong. So let's drink up. And have you ever tried to sneeze with your eyes open? It doesn't happen. So sneezing in the car is difficult. So I think we probably need to stay out of our cars as much as possible. Mmm. Oh, that's good. It's hot, too. It's hot. I didn't make it at 2 o'clock. I did not make it at 2 o'clock. So, Robert fixed my chair. This chair was at Leanne's house. And the chair, I had this beautiful bar stool, a gray bar stool. But it had a microfiber cover on it. And when I would try to get in it, it, it was like friction. I couldn't get in it. So... Leanne had two bar stools I had put at her house from our conference days, and one of them was messed up, so Robert fixed it for me in a, in a weird sort of way, but he made it where it's one, one height. That's it. Doesn't go anyplace else. It's one height, and um, I'm good with it. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just thankful that uh, toilet paper is made in this country, you know? It's a U.S. product from a renewable resource, trees. And we have trees. Boy, do we have trees. Anyway, next week, we're in our main bathrooms. Now, let's get our bathrooms extra clean because who knows? We might be spending a lot of time in the bathroom. Uh, I, I'm, it, it's important that your bathroom always be company ready, but right now it needs to be ready for your family. So we need to take inventory of what's in our medicine cabinets 
and get that stuff ordered just get it ordered go on amazon and get it some things may be out but you know get it coming uh, uh, no i don't have any oils in this one it's just water and it's just making a little mist i've got water boiling on the stove i have to set my timer so let's let's get our bathroom cabinets cleaned out let's get underneath the sink cleaned out and let's take care of our our bathrooms i think i'm gonna spend this next week reorganizing and decluttering in my bathroom and this is why we do our house in zones next week zone three is the main bathroom of our home that's my bathroom robert has his own bathroom i don't mess with his bathroom he cleans it he he does everything and he shares it with the cat the cat loves that bathroom she goes and hides in his shower and it's kind of kind of cute i go in there and i say hi to her but let's get our bathrooms in order. The week, We're finishing up in our kitchens this week. And my kitchen, I'm telling you, looks really good. It looks good. And Robert and I were talking about DoorDash. I checked out if there were any DoorDash people in, in Brevard, North Carolina. There is not. There is not. So he said, you know, I can run and pick up things. That's going to keep one less thing. One less person from being, um, touching whatever we've got here. And, you know, at this point, it's, it's just kind of, we all don't want to get it at one time. But we have to get things done. I have thermometers. I ordered one of those thermometers that you point at your head. And I got it in. I did that last week. So we've got thermometers. We've, we've probably all got thermometers somewhere. And being able to take your temperature, I've even got an oxygen sensor for my finger. So we're ready to hunker down and weather this illness if it hits our home. We are, we are good. Uh, I could make bread right now. I have all the fixings to make bread in our house if we ate bread. Robert and I rarely, Robert eats more bread than I do. But we have bread in our freezer. We're good to go. We always stay in, we always have a supply of things. Now, our supply of his granola is kind of low, but that's about it. An uh, ear thermometer works. So next week we're going to be in the main bathrooms of our home. The next, the next room we're in after that is our, is our master bedroom, bathroom, and closet. So we've got a bathroom this week and a bathroom next week, along with the rest of our home. And if you're gonna, if you're gonna be sick and in the bed, then you want that bedroom to be the sweetest and most welcoming ever. Now, we only have one TV in our house, so if I get sick, I'll probably be on the couch. I'm not counting on getting sick because I've been a germ-phobe my whole life. Don't like germs. I wash my hands. I keep the hand sanitizer around all the time. And it doesn't take a whole lot of hand sanitizer. But there are guidelines going all around the Internet on how to take care of your, yourself and your family how to do everything that needs to be done. And we just can't panic. We have to be focused. And what I want us to do to be focused, and I've just set it up and I gave Liz and Patty the link, we're gonna start decluttering. And tomorrow is the day, making pie for pie day. It is, it's three, one, four. Yeah, it's pie day. I think a pie's in our future too. Anyway, so tomorrow is National Prayer Day, and a lot of churches are not going to be in session. They're just not going to be. So let's find our favorite pastors on TV, and let's watch them, and let's still have our own church service at home.
And Leanne's got sprout. I've got things to grow sprouts too. I may start some gardening stuff, planting stuff. And I got to look at my planning schedule per the Farmer's Almanac to make sure it's a good time. Uh, a good time to, to do that. What's Leanne saying? I'm right here, Marla. I heard that. Yeah, she's got sprouts. She had sprouts at dinner the other night. She cut the tops of them off. <clears throat> yeah, the priests have already got their homilies done up. Yes, planting stuff soon. So I'm going to look at my farmer's al almanac and see when's a good time to start seeds. My great-grandmother did this. I mean, she wouldn't even let have anybody have surgery unless she made sure that the moon was in the feet. Now, if any of y'all know what that means, please let me know because I don't know. But let's declutter. I've just set up a page and we're going to, I'm going to uh, figure out a place to put it on the website, but I'm going to put it in all of our emails going out where you can, now think about it this way. If you have a bag of clutter and it's about the size of a young child that you would put on your hip, that's probably 25 or 30 pounds. So consider a bag of clutter to be about 25 pounds. If you're sick, please wear a mask. If you're not sick, you don't need a mask because it really doesn't keep things from coming in. It keeps things, uh, it keeps things from going out. Broccoli seeds in trays. Oh, wow. So I think I'm going to get me some pot and soil coming. Yep. So planning some things, getting it started, signs of feet, feed, feet. I, I don't know if it's feed or feet. Anyway, so whoever knows about the, the moon signs, just let me know and send me an email to flylady at flylady.net. What do I do at the Chinese buffet? Well... It's been a, about a week since we've been to the Chinese buffet. I don't know when we're going to go back again. But when I, I, I've always done this. I use a napkin, or I have in the last year. I use a napkin to hold, to hold the spoon, the serving spoons. And then I discard the napkin on the way back to the table. So I don't use that to wipe my mouth needs to be a di I actually went to the Chinese buffet with paper towels in my hands because they're bigger well if Leanne, Leanne says no buffets I say no gyms so <laughs> we're distancing ourselves from lots of people 40 days of decluttering yeah hauled off nine garbage bags full well, you can go count that on our declutter page as soon as I get somebody to post a link to it. Maybe I'll post a link on the Facebook page. Uh, ben couldn't figure out how to get... Uh, ben couldn't figure out... Uh, Lee and I are going get, to get to arguing. I think gyms are worse. And she thinks buffets are worse. Anyway, here's to... Let's get... Let's, let's circle the wagons. Let's stay home. And let's get rid of some clutter. We're going to be home with a purpose. And we are going to do this. We're going to do this. Declutter our kitchens. Declutter our bathrooms. We're going to stay focused on one room at a time. And next week we're going to focus. It won't take us long in our bathrooms. It's not, they're not big. So I'm going to declutter my bathroom. I did it last year. But, you know, stuff gets thrown underneath the sink and all kinds of stuff. And there's some things that I don't need anymore. But I might because I hadn't had a haircut in several months. <clears throat> so, phones are the worst. I take hand sanitizer. This is my phone case. The other night we played, um, my nose is itching. The other night we played. Uh, heads up and everybody handled my phone case and as soon as I got in the car I put some hand sanitizer on my hands and rubbed my phone down well I got hand sanitizer on my purple rag and I'm sanitizing my whole case sides bottom even the inside whole case 
because this is around me all day long. I love my, this is my charging case. So let's get some, let's get some things gone, gone from our homes. Oh, that feels good. So today, Mr. Benjamin went to the CVS, which is just down the street from his house. And he took a cart. He got some case, a couple of cases of water. Um, I don't know why he wants to drink bottled water, but he does. And if he'll drink water, that's important. That's all that matters. I'm going to quit fussing about bottled water. Because he has water bottles. He has filter pitchers. And he's good to go as far as ha having to drink water out of a faucet. And so he noticed a cart. He grabbed this cart to go into his cart and there was a purse in it. And he went at, and I'm stealing his thunder because if he were on here, he'd probably tell you about it. But he, he saw a purse in this, this cart and he took it back into the CVS and he told the lady at the front counter that this purse was still in the cart. And about that time, a lady came running in and she says, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Ben was just happy to help, you know. And he said, Aunt Marla, I ran out to the car, get in the car, you know, get put my, have, I already had my stuff in the car when I noticed it. And he said, this lady from CVS came out and handed him a $20 bill. And he said, I, I told her I didn't need to take, I, I couldn't take it. And they made him take it. Whew. They made him take it. He said, I didn't want to take it. He said, I know what it's like to lose your wallet because that happened to him a few months ago. Right as he got out of the hospital, he dropped his wallet. And he didn't know he dropped it till later that night. And doing the right thing, as Ben says, do the next right thing. And he did the next right thing. And... And for that, he was rewarded. He was rewarded. So, folks, if you live in the Knoxville area, and if I can't get there, I may call on some of you to help me check on him because I can't get there. I talk to him every day on the phone. But with my glands being touchy this week, I just been scared I had something even though I don't have anything and I'm not running any fever <clears throat> I just don't want to take a chance of giving him anything because he has no immunity whatsoever he has no uh, he could do that but right now he doesn't have a whole lot of money either so he's going to take the gift and be thankful for it he doesn't have a whole lot so, folks, he'll see somebody that needs it, and he'll bless somebody. He will, because that's what kind of guy he is. He sees a need, and he takes care of it. So he misses me, but I can't, I can't go and take a chance on hurting him. You know, can't do that. I can't, I can't do that. So this next week, we're going to declutter like crazy. We're going to declutter every, every little bit of our homes. While we're stuck at home, we're, going to we're, we're not going to sit there and watch YouTube videos constantly. We're going to put on some fun music. We're going to dance around the house with our feather dusters. Uh, just so you know, tomorrow is the last day for our carpet sweeper sale. So get it now. Get it now. They're $10 off. And, and while you're there, get you some pink rags. They're just $10 for a dozen. So everybody, please keep my sister-in-law in your prayers. She's on her way back from Europe. She'll be in quarantine for two weeks. 
Oh, it's Leanne saying about a crock pot. I will get a crock pot menu for the week. Oh, yay, Leanne. That's a great idea. She's going to put together some crock pot menus for the week. And I'm sure they can be made from stuff that you have on hand because she's good at that sort of thing. That'll be wonderful. It'll be like old times, won't it? When we did the super fling boogie. Well, we're going to, we're doing the flu boogie. <laughs> We're doing the Wuhan flu boogie to get clutter out of our house, to make room for joy. Because when your house is decluttered, it's much easier to bless your home. It really is. And we're going to do weekly home blessing. We're going to do a declutter game every single day next week. Probably for the next three weeks, we're going to declutter like crazy. And we're going to post our pounds and we're going to get rid of clutter. Because it is holding us back. So everybody, y'all have a good rest of the day. It's family fun day. Maybe pull out the Monopoly board. Uh, Justin told me a way that they, they play Monopoly, which is a speed way. And they deal out all the property cards. And then they deal out a lot of the money. It's Speed Monopoly. That could be fun, but an old, just a plain old game would be fun too. So, folks, let's let's see what we've got in our pantries. Let's let's get some stuff going. We're gonna cook. We're gonna declutter, and we're gonna have some fun. If we gotta be home, we're gonna get some things done. And you're with me. The crock pot stomp. <laughs> I just, uh, I loved cloth diapers. They're amazing. Be sure and get a five gallon bucket and put some hot soapy water in it to put the dirty diapers in after you rinse them. There's also a little hose that you can get for your toilet that you can spray the spray it off and have have a supply of have a supply of of rubber gloves. There's Leanne's Leanne's recipes are all over our website. Yep, she has a saving dinner section. Rock the crock. We're going to rock the. Crock. I love that Leanne. I made a batch. Somebody made a batch of cookies for the police. How sweet. Crocheting. I mean, you could probably get all your Christmas gifts made for next year. There's some great uh, patterns out there for some beautiful pieces. I like to cut quilts out better than I like to sew them. Well, they're that flushable liners are good too. Yeah, they're, somebody's talking about cloth diapers. I love cloth diapers. I had, I think I had six dozen because I could only do laundry once a week. Because I didn't have a washing machine. So be thankful for having, be thankful that you have a washing machine and use it. You can get everything washed up this week. You can catch up on all your laundry while you're home. Imagine that. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget about our sales ending and use coupon code CLEAN25 on anything else in the fly shop, like that feather duster back there. That's a fun tool. See you later.